Well, and how you keep the ball up. It's a dead, dead simple fact for those people who are just beginning, those people who are just trying to learn. It's basically get the ball in your hands, put it in your hands, and we're going to actually get it onto your thigh. So what I want you to do is actually drop the ball into your thigh and catch it. So drop the ball into your thigh and catch it. Now do it with your strongest leg first. If you're stronger on your right leg, try it on the right leg. It just work. So give me 10. Once you've done the 10, then go over to your weaker foot. Try it on your weaker foot. Now we've done that, go on to a little bit of progression. Now we're going to do both legs together. But this time, when we're doing it, you really need to be on more toes. So get your feet ready, because you have to use fast feet as well. Twenty done with both legs. Once you've done that, you're ready for progression. Well, if you're finding that easy and you've mastered that section, now we're going on to feet only. Now, right foot. So just right foot. So I need five on your right foot. So five on your right foot. Once you've mastered the five on your right foot, go to five on your left foot. Once you've got your left foot mastered, then try both feet. Once you've got both feet, then we've got more progressions for you. This challenge is a simple challenge. You only need two things. Firstly, you need a ball. Secondly, you need your wife, in my case, permission for a bucket. For you children, you might need to ask your parents. For me, a ball and a bucket is all you need. So instead of me explaining it, let me go and show you how it's done.